So we know that we can multiply fractions by multiplying the numerators together and multiplying the denominators together. So when the question 2 thirds times 3 sevenths, the numerators 2 times 3 multiply to make 6, and the denominators 3 times 7 multiply to make 21. But this fraction is not in lowest terms because both the numerator and the denominator both can divide by 3. And give, this gives us in lowest terms 2 divided by 7. So try the next couple questions on your own. Three-fourths times two-fifths. We multiply the numerator, numerators together and get six. Multiply the denominators together and get 20. Since both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by two, this fraction is not in lowest terms. In lowest terms, it would be three, divided by, uh, three over 10. If we have multiple fractions, we still multiply all the numerators together, and we still multiply all the denominators together. In this case, 3 times 2 times 2 makes 12, and 4 times 9 times 3 makes 108. Both of these numbers can be divided by 12 to give the answer in lowest terms, 1 over 9. Now the problem is, for a big fraction, like 15 over 16 times 8 over 35, we're going to get an answer that's actually quite large and is very difficult to reduce to lowest terms. So there's a process that we can follow called cross-reducing. Cross-reducing uh, is applied to the fractions before you actually multiply them together. And the way it works is you look at the numerator from one fraction and the denominator from the other fraction and see if they can both be divided by the same thing. In this case, 2 and 7 do not divide by the same numbers, so we will leave them alone. But 3 and 3 can both be divided by 3. And if I divide them both by 3, I get 1 and 1. So now we can multiply these together to get 2 over 7. Similarly, with 3 over 4 times 2 over 5, the 3 and the 5 do not cross-reduce, but 2 and 4 both divide by 2. So I'll divide them both by 2. And if I multiply the numerators together, 3 times 1 makes 3, and 2 times 5 makes 10. The process is pretty simple. It even works if we have multiple fractions being multiplied together. We're going to work with the same fraction we worked on with up here, 3 fourths times 2 ninths times 2 thirds. Now, we have a bunch of different things that can cross-reduce. The 4 and the 2 can both cross-reduce. These both divide by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. But notice, now we have a 2 in the denominator and 2 in the numerator, and these can cross-reduce as well. Both of those divide by 2. And this is a lot simpler now if we were to multiply it out. But it's not complete, because this 3 here in the numerator can cross-reduce with either the 9 or the 3 in the denominator. It doesn't matter which one you actually cross-reduce with, as long as you only cross-reduce with one of them. Uh, so here we'll cross-reduce with the 3 with the 9. Both of these divide by 3. And so now if we multiply the numerators together, 1 times 1 times 1 makes 1, and 1 times 3 times 3 makes 9. So just to summarize, cross-reducing can be done when you are reducing the numerator of one fraction with the denominator of the other fraction.